Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Furious IPA from Surly is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Furious IPA from Surly Brewing Company. Um, we just started getting some of their beers. Um, I think both of them, there's only been two that's been sent to Michigan and they've been um, both IPAs. I do have the other one, but I remember, I, I think it was a couple years ago uh, that we did some stouts or something and somebody commented saying I needed to try and get some of their stouts. So if they do happen to start sending um, their stouts here, I will try and pick them up. This is a 6.7% ABV. Um, Canned on date is 919. Um, uh, I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery in Three Rivers, two dollars and twenty nine cents. <throat> I think this beer it has changed. Um, I did look on uh, YouTube just real quick because I thought I remember seeing this, but it had beer. So I was actually trying to see if it was two different ones. Now untapped, uh, just says Furious. It doesn't say IPA, but some of the thumbnails on Facebook, it, it, it says beer. So, and, and there, I believe they were 16 ounce cans instead of 12. Uh, but the other IPA I do have from them um, is a 16 ounce. So let's go ahead and get this open, see what we think. Then we'll check the back to see what hops and malts maybe that are in this. It's actually a little darker than I was thinking it was going to be. So I'm guessing we are going to get, they are using like Crystal 60 or something in here. Um, man, I can smell the hops already. Um, Off-white, almost uh, uh, orange, uh, light orange colored head, small medium bubbles. Two fingers of head. Bubbles on the side are mainly compact like um, uh dish soap it's weird i pour down the center and just on the side there's bigger bubbles so it must have like leaked that's what i was looking at because i was going to say well it's kind of both but i only really see very compact bubbles color color is very like a burnt orange color um I don't know if it's the light position, but it almost looks like the bottom of it is like a yellow orange, then the top of it is like a red orange. It, it has to be just how the light's coming off of it. Um, I do see protein settlement in there, some bubbles coming through. I can see through it, but it does have that hazy quality a little bit to it. Yeast and protein floating in there. Um, head is starting to die down. We're starting to get some peaks and valleys in there. Let's smell, see what we get. Citrus with some pine in there. Uh, a little sweet malt, maybe caramel in there. More citrus like zest like the the outside so it's kind of bitter uh that bitterness is playing well off everything yeah ci citrus and pine are the the main two that i get uh then uh a little bit of sweet malt in there let's go ahead and taste sweet malt a little bit of citrus in there goes to the back big bitterness aftertaste is more of a citrus sweet malt than anything I can still feel the bitterness in there um, but yeah the the aftertaste as it warms up you are getting a lot or a combination of that citrus and that sweet malt maybe a touch of floral in there not knocking it but it almost tastes like it's it, it's an older ipa 
with the amount of um, that sweet malt that you're getting up front and then that bitterness in the back, it, it almost, in, in my eyes, seems like uh, it's, it's not that that front has faded like that lemon or citrus has faded but it's not my guess is it's not supposed to be a hot forward beer that's why you're getting everything towards the back where in a hot forward beer you're going to get a lot of those you, you know fruit uh citrus up front um it, it's just weird how I, I was trying to pull that lemon out of the the smell um, and it's really a malt bomb up front until it gets to the back. Medium bodied beer. I would probably have to go with a 3.75 out of 5. I think that malt character is a little overdone. I know it's not a hop forward beer, but it just seems like they, they could have toned down that malt um, up front that sweet malt up front. Maybe that's what they're going for and if you're into that then um, this is probably a, a good beer for you um, But a little too much bitterness. I want more like citrus that's in the smell um, and pine um, It's just a big bitterness bomb in the back I, there, I, I'm getting a touch of floral too in there, but yeah, 3.75 out of 5. Let's look at the back real quick. Imperial Red Ale question, Hoppy Red question. Um, yeah, Citrus, Pine, Caramel. Um, so I was pretty much on, I don't see any um, thing, it, it doesn't mention like a floral, but... Um, I do get some in the back. Let's go ahead and check on tapped, see what they're saying. So 28 of my friends have uh, rated it 4.01 out of 5. 123,000 people have rated this average 3.90. Um, okay, so uh, the Beer Patrol did rate this. I don't know when. Um, I can click on it real quick. Um, it looks like he has the 16 ounce can. Um, yeah, definitely an old school IPA. Uh, now he's saying it's more, uh, it's actually more of a hop forward amber ale. I don't think in an amber ale it would be that hoppy, bitterness, piney in the back, but he gave it a 3.75 also. So we're on the same page there. Uh, they do use Golden Promise in this. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I think if you're more of an old school IPA fan like... Uh, uh, Joe said, I, I think you will like this one a little bit more. I just, I, I don't think it's very well balanced. I think there's too much sweet malt up front, um, then too much bitterness in the back. I want some more of that citrus um, level toned up, um, maybe in the middle of the palate. But like I said, the aftertaste um, is just fine. But I, I think the taste for my tasting um, needs to change a little. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.